Hi, Dr. Anders. I'd like to know your opinion about ad orientum. Yes, what, um, is, what is ad orientum? That is, that is facing east for the celebration of the Mass, typically with the priest facing away from the congregation, typically. Okay. So what is my opinion on the ad orientum uh, posture in the celebration of the Mass? Mm-hmm. So uh, St. Augustine of Hippo tells us in his book on Christian doctrine that the entire dispensation of our faith, the whole thing, he's even talking about sacred scripture, uh-huh. we should treat like a road or a chariot as a means to an end. You know, you don't get on the road because I just want to be on the road. You get on the road because you want to end up someplace. Right, right, right. right. Where do we want to end up? It's the life of charity. Uh, Abbot Moses in Cashin's Conferences asks, why bother with the monastic life? What's the goal? He says, "Is one thing, purity of heart, without which we will not see God. Okay? So uh, I take that admonition to heart. I think it's consistent with the words of our Lord when he admonishes the Pharisees and say, you guys tithe mint, dill, and cumin, but you should have practiced the weightier matters of all, like love and justice and mercy. So, look, I think that things like liturgical posture can obviously be profound symbols of some theological truth, right? And I understand the symbology behind the ad orientum posture, and I appreciate it, as I do all the aspects of the Mass. But to take the ad orientum posture as a kind of a shibboleth or a litmus test in the so-called liturgy wars— and to set up camps within the Catholic Church. And, you know, over here are the righteous ones who have the right posture, and over here are the unwashed masses that have the wrong posture, and we're the good guys, and they're the bad guys. And and I, so much of that is so contrary to the spirit of the gospel and to the explicit instructions of St. Paul about the liturgy, right? You say, I follow Paul. You say, I follow Apollos. You say, I follow Cephas. We all follow Christ. Yeah. And charity is the one uh, absolute constant criteria for the celebration of an efficacious Mass. So we can have the most so-called reverent posture, vestments, symbols, you name it, every, every rubric you know, in place exactly as we want. And if we lack love, Paul tells us, we have nothing.